The Birdcage is a prophetic queer masterpiece that you need to watch. This 1996 comedy about two gay men who have to hide their identity to appease a conservative is shockingly graceful. I went in expecting something filled with stereotypes and indignance towards queer people, but saw it was starring Robin Williams and Nathan Lane and gave it a chance. What I got was a hilarious yet poignant commentary on the importance of expressing who you are honestly. I will say, Agador the housemaid definitely comes across as a flaming stereotype, but he served c*** and won me over so I don't care. You can cook, right? Your father seems to think so. I think two main points make this work. One, both Williams and Lane's portrayals are authentic, flamboyant, and yet genuine. I'm 50 years old. There's only one place in the world I call home, and it's because you're there. And two, the film establishes that homophobic, bigoted conservatives are objectively in the wrong. It's a wonderful show. It's the most intelligent show on television. They're portrayed as miserable, selfish people who drain the color out of the world around them, even going so far as to express the cardinal sins onto the father in basically every scene his character is in. From pride to gluttony and all the rest, watch the movie and you'll see. He was obviously framed, and I for one would like an autopsy. That's just what Rush Limbaugh said. This movie does give weird low-budget energy and has bad pacing issues and a real lack of score. My guess is during post-production they ran out of budget since all the flaws are editing or pacing related. But overall, it's made with authenticity and reverence for the queer community. The costuming is sublime, the set design is far better than it needs to be, and overall the movie is far better than I was expecting. Oh, and it's full of moments of strikingly beautiful cinematography that's almost Wes Anderson-esque, and blocking that's far more thoughtful than I could have ever expected. The Birdcage is a real gem, and you should check it out. And if you'd like to hear more of my reviews, either follow here or on Letterboxd. I watch a lot of movies, and I have a lot of really dumb opinions. <laughs> See ya.